Are you tired of wasting thousands of dollars on API subscriptions to support all of your automations? What if there was a free alternative? We have the completely redesigned transcribe module. You just pass in a media URL, either audio or video. You give it the task. You can either transcribe or translate. And then you just simply tell the API whether you want the text. Include text is going to bring back the actual transcription. Include SRT is going to bring back the SRT file for captioning videos. You can also include segments. I'll show you what that is. It gives you data related to the transcription and various timestamps. You can also control whether the API gives you the response directly in the response, or it can also upload the text in the SRT file into a file and give you the file instead. You can turn on word timestamps, which gives you the timestamp for every single word in that transcription. And then you can also set the language. So let's go ahead and run this as is. So here you can see the result. Let me move this up a bit. First here, you can see the segments. That's what we included right here. There's just a lot of data here that you can use if you need that level of detail in whatever you're doing. In some cases, you'll find that this is just not needed and it's overkill and you can turn it off. If I scroll to the bottom, you can see we have that SRT and that is a file that you can use when you are creating captions on videos. And you can also see the text here as well, which is just the straight transcription. And so depending on what you need, you can turn these on or off, text, SRT, or segments. And then like I mentioned, you can control whether it gives you the response back directly in the JSON response, or we can adjust this to cloud. In this case, it's going to take all of this data here. It's going to upload it into a file and give us the file instead. Let's check that out. So here you can see we got the response, but instead we're getting the segments, SRT, and text as a file, we can go ahead and open that up. So here you can see we have that same data just in a remote file. And whether you would choose direct or cloud in your automation really just depends on what your automation is doing and what is best in that particular situation. Now, if you need help with the toolkit, don't hesitate to join the No Code Architects. It's a community, so others help each other as well. There are calls with me almost every single day. And inside the classroom, there's also a Make and Airtable beginner course, access to all my automation templates, and a whole lot more.